Hi, it's Luang from Google Tech and nice to see you again. This is my air quality monitor. I use the SXT31 of Sensirion to measure temperatures and humidity and the HGP30 for TVOC. And for the SXT31, you can find different versions. Here I have the ones of Adafruit which cost about $14 and the no-name AliExpress version of for about $2. Almost everybody loves the cheap one because of limited budget. However, I will wonder if we can get good measurements using dough. I accepted the fact that they may not be as good as the brand ones, but how bad will it be? To understand that, I set up a test bed where I put two Adafruit sensor and two AliExpress sensor together using the microcontroller RP. 2040 is the from Raspberry Pi. I can put only two sensors on an ICYC bus because this sensor have only two addresses. You will need to use multiplexers if you want to add more than two. Two Adafruit sensors and the OLED screen will be connected to the ICYC0 like you see here and the two AliExpress sensor will be connected to the ICYC1. Thank God that this microcontroller have two ICYC. And here you can see the OLED display is show the humidity and the temperatures every three seconds. So the cycle of it is around six seconds. But in the data set, the measure cycle is 20 seconds. I let them run for almost two hours, collected the data, Compare them and I will share the result with you right away. Let's look at the temperature first. The Ad Adafruit, you have T1 and T2, the blue and the red, and AliExpress T3 and T4 is the yellow and the green colors here. I also calculate the variant of them, which is Delta T of both Adafruit and AliExpress. As you can see, there are big variation in the Adafruit sensor at the beginning of the test. And the maximum value of Delta is about 0.7 degree, while it is said to be precise as plus minus 0.3 degree, which is maximum 0.6 in absolute value. It's a big surprise here. The AliExpress has better consistency, around 0.4, as you can see here. I wouldn't say they are more precise because I didn't have a lab device to measure the exact temperatures. I could say they are more consistent. If your application needs the temperatures of different points to control, for example a fan, then they are better to use. Now let's check on the humidity. Um, the spy that you see here is not an error, it's because I was working and breathing near it. Anyway, the result again show that though Ali is spread, ones are more consistent. The variation is less than 1.5% much lower than the 4% tolerance. The other food sensors are still in the allowed tolerance, but uh, the average is around 3%. From those results, it seems a good idea to use those no-name sensors, cheaper and more consistent. However, they are very basic tests, just to give an idea about those sensors. I have experience with sensor data get affected by the distance to the microcontroller or to the other sensor itself. So take that into account too. I like the professional look of the Adafruit sensor, uh, as well as the stemma connector like you see here, it's very convenient. But I will go with the no-name Aliexpress ones for my project for the price and not so bad performance. I hope this test helped you with your projects. If you have experience with those, please share in the comment section and I see you in the next one. Happy making!